Nick Allo, KC Thunder. Isaiah, just what's your take on how this one went, uh, the, the game flow from being down big early, making the comeback, and then just not quite having enough late? Yeah, um, ugly game. Uh, we got down early, you know, whenever you're playing a hot team like them, it could be tough to, you know, pull those wins out. But um, I think we just got to do a better with, uh, game plan execution down the stretch. Um, you know, big plays are made on both sides. So we got to live with the ups and downs and just learn from them. We, we know you're a right leg jumper, but uh, what's going through your mind either during or immediately after that poster? I mean, in the, t in the moment, you know, you know, very, very excited. You know, energy's real high, but move on real quick and got a game to win. So it do not hold much weight after, you know, taking the loss. So um, definitely more than dunk, we just wanted to win. Did it feel like the game turned a little bit? On that moment, though, it seemed like crowd got into it. You guys maybe had a little bit more juice and energy uh, after that. Yeah, I mean, we had we had energy, um, but like I said, um, playing a team that's hot like that, you just gotta connect plays offensively and defensively uh, down the stretch to um, pull out those wins. Um, so yeah, that's all I have on that. Isaiah, you came into the league just known as a shooter, but you've continued to develop your game outside of that while also like maintaining your status as an elite shooter. How have you managed to do that? Uh, just not being one-dimensional, trying to do anything that I can to help the team win, um, whether that's not down shots, defensive plays, um, being in the right spot at the right time, just playing the right way. Um, I think that's just the most important thing is winning games, and if I could find you know little niche, niches here and there um, to help the team win, that's what I'm going to do. Over the course of the last two years, you've become more and more of a known commodity for other teams of just denying you the ball and making you take tougher shots. What's sort of that like just internally, mentally, where you know the team needs you to take a lot of shots from three just for spacing purposes and just for the offense, but it's going to be harder shots than your usual looks? Yeah, I mean, that just kind of comes with the job description, um, being able to take shots. But if my man's not going to help off of me, that just leaves more lanes for Dub and Shea and getting them to, to get downhill. So it's kind of like, um, you know, just giving a take. So um, just being able to play off of each other, whether that's, you know, swinging the one more for the open shot or that's me drawing my defender out so we can open up the lanes. At what point did you know you were going to dunk that? Did you, were you on the break? Did you know it? I mean, it was kind of like a last second thing. I, I don't know if you saw it, but, you know, I was looking, I saw Lou. About to cut, and once I got down there, I was just like, this is the best way I could finish this um, over the defender. So, you know, I took off, and the rest is history. Where does that rank on your dunks? That might be my, that's probably my best dunk. That, yeah, that's probably my best dunk for sure. Is, is there an art to coming off the bench? I mean, usually you usually hit threes, but is there an art to coming off giving that, that jolt of energy uh, that you have to have when you're watching the game? You kind of read what they need, or is it just things happen? Yeah, I think it just starts with being focused while you're on the bench, uh, being tuned in to every time out, knowing uh, what's going on on the court at all times, you know, foul count, uh, timeouts left, actions that we're running, actions that they're running, things like that. I think if you're, you know, focused while you're on the bench, it'll be a lot easier once you step on the court. I look back at all your big dunks, and they're all with the left hand. Yeah. Can you, can you tell me about that? I mean, it kind of all started when I was younger. Uh, I learned that I jumped higher off my right leg. So in doing so, I just started dunking left-handed. So now, no matter whether I go up with one or two, I'm either going to dunk with my left hand or with two hands. So it's just kind of what, what I'm so, comfortable with. So how did you with. find out that you jumped higher with your right leg? Uh, running track in, uh, in middle school. So whenever we were um, trying out or whatever, they made us do the long jump with both left leg and right leg. And that's kind of when I figured out I, I jumped farther with my right leg. And so ever since then, it's just kind of build off that. Yeah. Nick Allo, KC Thunder. Uh, Jalen, wanted to ask, ask you about the game tying three. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my about, fault. No, you're good. Uh, about the game tying three and um, you know, what it took for you guys to even get to that point after the start that you had um, and, and you know, kind of what you then saw from there after that. Uh, I don't know. The, I don't know, the way my competitive spirit is the three doesn't really matter but I think we were just uh, sticking with it the whole game even though we had an awful start um, I think we had good late game execution to build up into that shot um, 
coach the play we ran we actually worked on in practice but haven't really ever run it live so the fact that we were able to kind of put that to use to get that three off was was really good on our part but I thought we just stuck with it in order to get down to that position Josh you've talked about just really trusting kind of your your work your shot diet uh, but you still have uh, the flair for the dramatic two with the, the shot from your back. Um, <laughs> just tell me about that play and um, maybe kind of what you were feeling out there tonight offensively. Yeah, um, I mean, as I said, just kind of taking what they were giving me. Um, and as I said earlier, you know, we've seen a bunch of different looks. Teams are, you know, throwing their best defensive lineups at us. You know, they're trying to cross match their, their blitz in, they're um, playing all, all different types of coverages. So uh, I think, you know, myself, we as a team are adjusting to different looks. and. Um, you know, tonight I was just trying to get downhill, make the play, and whether that was shoot the ball or, or you know, hit a shooter, hit a cutter, um, just, just trying to make the right play. And, um, you know, shots, shots are going to fall, they're going to miss, and, you know, it's, it's important to not let the rest of your game be impacted by what happens on, you know, the offensive end. So um, just trying to keep that in the back of my mind. Josh, it seems like on your shots you're not really – thinking about it as much as just taking them um, first is that an accurate assessment and then if it is um, how much has that just helped you with your like your confidence and just about, not just the shooting but just attacking attacking the game I mean you know when when I started to get cross matched and I think first of that's a you know credit to the team we have uh, teams are throwing completely different looks at us that they probably never practice uh, to try to throw our offense off but um, I think early you know I was hesitant you know I was wide open I'm like do I want to shoot it every time and and now I'm starting getting into a bit of a rhythm where it's you know shoot the good ones um, you know you don't have to shoot it. I can get off the ball I've got a lot of other guys out there that can make plays so um, just just being decisive with what I do um, not thinking about not hesitating shooting with confidence um, not letting the last shot impact the next one and um, you know just playing the game you know playing each possession um, as it comes and then how much has it helped that your teammates have and coaches con constantly just giving you confidence and, and just c continue to talk you up and not d not doubt you at any point I mean that's huge for a player's confidence um, you know when you're missing shots and things aren't going well to have great people around you um, it is, I think, the best thing for you. Um, and it's easy to get caught up in your own head thinking about your own game. But um, when you zoom out, look at the bigger picture, um, we're a winning team. Uh, I'm in a really, really good place. Um, I've got great people around me. So um, that's just a blip on the radar. I mean, um, you're going to have ebbs and flows as a young player in your career and, and, and in the season. And um, it's, it's just how well you can manage them highs and lows and um, stick, you know, stick with the, uh, through the tough times. And um, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. And um, you know, whether that's after game 20, 60, 80, um, it's going to be there. And as long as you stick with it, keep working, um, you know, do the stuff behind closed doors, um, it, it will eventually show. Andrew Select with The Athletic, this could be for either of you. Did, did it make it more difficult to play this Rockets team today in that they've changed? a lot since Shangun went down like they play a completely different style um they're just playing faster uh they do a good job of being able to switch one through five um i think that's it i'm not saying they're better or worse you know obviously without him but i think they're just playing faster so that that gives us different looks um i think defensively they did a good job kind of loading up and yeah they, i think just they posed a couple issues as far as just switching one through five Kind of had us jumbled up the first a uh, couple minutes of the game, just trying to figure that out, and you know they were physical. So, and have you seen Isaiah dunk like that before? Nah, it was OD. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, wish we could have won so you could post about it, but yeah, that was OD. That was a very good dunk. Sort of following up on that, can you guys just talk about the energy that Isaiah just brings to your guys' team? Not just the dunk, but on an average night, just with the three ball, it seems like he's one of your guys' more important players, just in terms of just hitting shots from deep. Uh, I mean, yeah, like, you know, aside from the three point shooting, um, he gives us a lot. He's obviously a very high gravity guy. Um, you know, defenses pay a lot of attention to him, which opens the floor up for other guys. So, um, you know, obviously shooting is what he does. And we have full confidence in him, whether he misses 10 in the row, makes 10 in the row, he's getting that ball the next time. And um, we all trust him to make that shot. And, um, he, you know, he continues to bring energy off the bench, um, plays his role to perfection. And, um, you know, is a big piece of, you know, what we're doing here. 82 games, you're going to have some starts like you did tonight. Is there anything in warm-ups that you kind of feel different when you get a start like that? You, that something's kind of off? Or is it just high it's just play? basketball. It's just the nature of the game. There's going to be games where you, you can even come out with energy and not hit shots. You can come out flat. You know, it's just a long season. You know, they're, um, I think that's what's fun about the game. You know, we, we may start slow and then have to figure out 
certain things. You know, we can start fast and have a decline. It's just just the nature of basketball. Um, you know, usually try and avoid stuff like that. You know, we've had great starts through every single game, but uh, you know, we're just gonna have games like that. And I thought we did a good job fighting back from that and and getting a rhythm. Uh, I think when you play teams over and over again too, and obviously this team just changed, you know, you're basically, it feels like you're playing a different team. So you're trying to feel out, you know, what, what's going on within the game and not trying to force stuff. So, um, you know, there's a, there's a tactical part to that as well, trying to figure out your opponent, it just kind of depends. But um, biggest thing is just sticking with it. And we understand that there's runs and as ugly as we started the, the game, you know, we go into like the second time out, we're down seven. So it's like, just kind of go with the highs and lows of the game. Uh, Josh, for for you, I mean, heading into this game, I mean, coming off of one of your best games of the year, had another one of your best games of your career. Um, for you, how important is it, you know, for you to get that rhythm? Obviously, heading into the playoffs and the final weeks of the season winding down, and you know, how does it work for your confidence heading into that time? The, the I time? mean, you know, it's obviously a good time to kind of hit your stride um, going to the back end of the year. And um, and as I said, you know, any player, I'm not, you know, I'm not isolated in this where you go through highs and lows throughout a season, and um, you know. Um, it's not a secret that you know I've struggled up and down this year, and um, just just trying to stay positive, trying to keep buying into what we're doing and, and into the team. And um, as I said, the work behind closed doors, you know, always comes to light. Um, you've just got to stick with it. You, you know, you can never fold when the pressure you know gets too much. And um, as I said earlier, we got a, I got a great you know team around me, organization around me um, that, that gives me confidence um, and allows me to go out there and, and play freely. So um, you know, it helps having. You know, obviously, a very talented team. Um, you know, things open up for other guys because there's so many weapons out there. Um, so, just trying to play the right way and um, you know, take what comes. Josh, I know you've mentioned before that you're a big football fan, and you'll see like quarterbacks have discussions with their coaches about different looks they like. Are there anything similar like that between you and Mark? Because I know you guys have had a high rate of success the last couple of years on some of these sideline out of bounds and ATOs. Yeah, we've, um, we've been watching a lot of film before before games. Um, and just things, both ends of the floor, um, things he's seeing, things I'm seeing. So um, it, it's good to see it from a perspective where you watch it through a film. And you can't always, you know, I always don't see everything during a game. He won't see everything during a game. So when the emotion's out of it, you can sit down and watch film. I think that's when you can get a really good idea of what's happening on the floor. And um, he's been great in, in that area, showing me things he sees um, and vice versa. So um, I think film's a really good way to improve um, both sides of the ball. Um, and, and he's been great in that area with me. Nick Allo, Kissy Thunder. Uh, Mark, what did you think of the way you guys shook off the start to this one, and how did you, you start to gain some traction there uh, to, to get back into this and, and make it a game for the rest of the way? Yeah, I thought the, the bench gave us a great lift tonight. Obviously, they got off to a great start. We didn't. Uh, but to fight ourselves back into it, I mean, if you go down 15-2 or whatever it was, you, know, you run the risk of really digging a hole, and we were able to scrape back in took a lead by halftime, uh, and I thought that first uh, bench group that went in there really kind of stabilized the game with their effort and physicality. Uh, just defensively, it seemed like you guys played solid defense, and it was just high-level shot making. What would you see from Houston um, in terms of being able to break away in overtime? Yeah, I thought, you know, there was high-level shot making on some plays. I thought there were other plays where uh, we had breakdowns, stuff we can learn from. Um, you know, you can't score 132 on shot making. You know, there's there's got to be some bleeding in there, and there was. So uh, definitely stuff that we can learn from. Uh, credit them. They did a really good job of getting to their stuff, putting us in tough spots. Uh, so they went and got that game. They deserve that game. People often say, like, a guy's just a shooter, sort of in a negative connotation, which is kind of weird for a guy like Isaiah Joe, who's an elite guy. Over the course of, like, just having here – him in the program where have you seen the most growth from him and then what do you think of the dunk tonight <laughs> great dunk uh i just i mean the physicality that he plays with i mean he just empties the tank you know and you just got to respect it you know because every time he goes out there and plays um he's giving you everything he has you know and he's you know shorter slighter uh and yet squeezes every last uh, ounce out of himself and to me that's like the ultimate mark of a competitor you know so he obviously had a good offensive night, uh, made some big shots for us. Thought the dunk really gave us some confidence and juice there in the in the second or whenever that was. Um, but you know, every single night he brings it. You know, he's a he's a big time player. Obviously, there are things that you guys could have done better, but for the most part, it seemed like this game just came down to making tough shots. Is that something that you feel or 
like I said, obviously you guys could, there are things that you could have, could have done better, but. I mean, every night there's, you know, a combination of uh, things you can control and things you can't. And we want to be a team that looks at the stuff we can control. You know, we just never want to turn the page um, and, and chalk an entire game up to uh, luck or shot making or refs or anything like that. You know, we want to be a team that takes full accountability for what we can. We do that after wins. We do that after losses. We'll do that after this one. Can you can you walk me through the early subs in the first quarter? I didn't think we had great energy um, to start the game. You know, I usually try to sub quicker uh, on a back to back, anyways. You know, shorten rotations, especially in the first half. Um, but I think when you get off to a start like that, you know, where we're clearly flat. I was going to get those guys. That was the normal pattern I was going to do. I just did it earlier. I think it gives guys an opportunity to go in and elevate the game, and I thought that's what happened. You know, those guys did a great job. It allows the guys that came out of the game early to kind of get a deep breath, uh, reset, and then when they came back in, they were better. So uh, I thought everyone responded, you know, exactly like we hoped with that. It seemed like they were trying to the, – the Rockets were trying to, like, really – make the game more physical and you guys reacted to it uh, pretty well. I mean, what are your thoughts on you guys' physicality tonight? They definitely, you know, set the more physical tone at the uh, outside of the game. But um, then in the meat of the game, I thought we did a really good job you know, of matching and exceeding their physicality. In a lot of ways, we built a lead uh, and gained control of the game for a large part of that. Obviously, we weren't able to hold on uh, at the end of regulation or in the overtime. But, you know, for a large part of the game, I thought uh, – we threw the punches and, and did a good job there. Mark, Ch Chet's only even had like less than a handful of games where he's even come close to, to fouling out of a game. Just with this being his first time, just I wonder what you saw there from him in terms of the way he defended tonight, uh, defended, you know, balanced fouling, defending, just the physicality in general, just how he handled all of that. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd have to, I don't remember all of them, to be honest with you. One of them was offensive foul, right? legal screen mm -hmm. you know so that one isn't defensive related but um you know that's one of those things that's to your point a little bit of an anomaly so we're not going to overreact to it i mean he's very rarely in foul trouble um they did a good job of recognizing his foul trouble and and putting him in tough spots um i thought they played you know houston played with great intelligence tonight uh, i give them a lot of credit for how they play the game but um you know we stayed aggressive with him through the fouls we tried to keep him out there as much as we could um, it's a good game he can learn from. Not really the foul trouble, but you know the way that they guarded us um, with the cross matching and switching and the physicality. Thought they gave us a really good look tonight that we can learn from. Sorry if you made a hit on this. Uh, what did you think of Gordon the first half, especially when you kind of pretty started? good? Yeah, you know, made a couple shots and uh, get some cuts into the game. Uh, I thought he played with some aggression. Uh, did a good job defensively in the schemes and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, just continues to learn what's going on and play with more and more confidence. But he gave us a good lift there in the first half, especially early when we needed to stabilize the game. Anybody else? Andrew's got one more. Last one for Andrew. Yeah, Josh just seems to be playing with just an incredible amount of confidence. Like, what have you seen from him over this last stretch? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's played. He's strung together a good amount of games here you know, where he's done that. You know, he's getting his driving into the game. He's getting his passing into the game. I think, you know, when he pitches ahead in transition, um, that really ignites us. You know, it really gets us going offensively. That's, you know, the best thing he does for us. So, um, you know, played another good offensive game tonight. He's playing with a lot of confidence and aggression. That's how we need him to play.